guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another weekly vlog i'm just booking an uber nine minutes good job i was prepared and booked you early thank you very much how are we all hope we've all had a great week i've actually got a new phone it came yesterday it was a really fun time i didn't actually realize but i could have upgraded like in november but i don't check these things so i didn't know so i got a little upgrade got the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, is that what they're called these days? Honestly, who knows? Um, but I'm off to Manchester a day, off for a fun day with my bestie. We're actually going to see Beauty and the Beast. I am very excited. I am an absolute theatre hopper these days. Lion King last week, Beauty and the Beast this week. I'm absolutely living. We're going to see it in Manchester. I think it's like the last week of performances. So she messaged me and was like, should we go? And I was like, hell yes, because I love Beauty and the Beast. Um, we were going to go out for dinner, but I think she's just going to cook us a meal instead. And that's pretty much the plan of action. Let me quickly show you my outfit and then we'll get on our way. Okay, outfit of the day. It's actually really warm out there. I just took Corby around the block and I was very hot, so I had to take my jacket off. But this bodysuit, well, it was a bodysuit. Not me, customised normal clothes, as always. I literally just get the scissors out and chop everything. I just can't help myself. This was a bodysuit from Fashion Nova. The fit of it, like, it's just so sculpted and nice. But the thing is, girls, you know when a bodysuit just... It was cutting, it was too tight, it was uncomfortable, it was causing a lot of pain in the region. So I thought, Do you know what, I'm never gonna wear this because I just associate it with being uncomfortable. So we cut it, made it a cute little crop top instead, and now I absolutely love it. Um, Vela Sunnies, as always, Ego bag, as always. Jeans are, you can't really see them that well, but they've got a really nice little slit at the bottom. They're from my recent Zara haul. They're like, not low rise, but kind of like, midi rise they're just a really nice fit of a jean i really like them and then i've just got my leather jacket here which i'll probably just throw over my shoulder and my louis vuitton hold all so how far is my uber now let's have another check five minutes away i'm gonna grab a drink and a snack at the station i don't really know what i fancy hmm i don't know but i'll grab something to eat and a drink and we'll get on our way I was yours for the taking Guess I needed a home But if I'm not mistaken You were good on your own oh. And I know, I know I was drunk enough Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up, yeah Now I'm truly awakened, uh. So you wanna talk again But it's time I do this my way I don't wanna be your friend Think we hit our expiration and I'm just about to do my hair and I've got sent something which I need to show and discuss 
excuse my hair right now, with you all. So, does this look familiar? Now, I've been umming and ahhing about getting the Dyson Airwrap for literally the longest time. Like, I've been, I've tried with my friends. Half of me is like, yeah, let's get it. Half of me is like, is it worth it for someone like me? Because I do feel like often when I've done it, they have dropped out really quickly. Um, and I wear my hair up all the time. So I've, I'm really 50-50 about it. Anyway, this company got in touch with me and emailed me and asked if I wanted to try this. This is not an ad, by the way. Um, they literally just sent it to me and said, do you want to try it? So I'm not obliged to show you this. But I did use it before I went on a night out the other day. Um, I'll insert a video here. And I pin curled my hair with it. And I loved it. It turned out so nice. It really gave me the look that when I've used the Dyson in the past, that it gave me. Now this is essentially like a bit of a Dyson Airwrap dupe. It's called the Lux Air Pro. I'll leave it linked down below. I actually saw it quite a while ago on TikTok. I think it went viral, like a video of it. So when they emailed me, I was like, you know what, let's give this a go because then I can see how it works. Granted, obviously, it's not gonna be as good as the Dyson. Um, so if my curls drop with this, they're probably going to be better with the Dyson. However, it comes in this really nice little nude, um, box, which I love. And then it looks so similar. It's crazy. So you get this little device here and then the two curling things. You get the blow dry blow, blow dry brush, the hair dryer, and I'm guessing this is like a smoothing brush. So when I tried it the other day... I was so impressed I can't even tell you I was actually like wow I was not expecting it to be that good so I thought I'd do my hair this morning with you and just show you um just if you're looking for you know a bit of a cheaper alternative and I thought we could just assess it and try it together okay so I'm just gonna put some heat protector on this is it really just a mark hill one Right, let's put our parting in. I have just put loads of dry shampoo in my hair as well. So I'm just going to do it in two sections. The other day when I did it for a night out, I like sectioned my hair into like half and half. Um, and obviously I pinned them and I pinned them for probably about an hour. So... I'm obviously not expecting it to be as bouncy as that was, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to leave out my front bits because I like to do them with the blow dry brush. So let's take a section of my actual hair like that. So we want the arrows to be facing away from our face. So that way. And so on the front we've got a little on button and then you hold this down to make it cold. Um, one thing I actually did notice is when I've used the Dyson Airwrap in the past, on the cold setting it hasn't got really really cold whereas this one like I actually felt cold air um, and then this is just to turn like the temperature up I think. I think so, I don't know, to be honest I didn't even touch them last time. but. Let me show you. It literally works in the exact same way. Oh god last time when i pinned them i obviously didn't see doing this because i was instantly pinning them up guys that looks pretty good to me you know right let's do another bit turn it on And there we have it. 
a nice bouncy curl. Honestly, I'm so impressed. Let me quickly do the rest of my hair and then I'll come back and show you how I did the front bits. Um, but 10 out of 10 from me, I'm so impressed. say is that when you're first wrapping it round I know with the Dyson like it literally just picks it up straight away and I can just like go like that whereas with this I've got to like sometimes wrap it around myself because it doesn't hold as well um, but once you've got it like wrapped around it does the job um, but yeah that's the only thing that I've noticed so far okay so hair is all curled using this head um, I just love how it looks and I feel like when I brush it out it gives that like effortless blow dry style um also another thing i'd say is this side which did this side definitely grips it a lot better um so maybe i just need to like do them all that way even though obviously they're supposed to go away from your face but this one definitely has better grip um i don't know if that's just like a design fault or what um but i'm going to use this attachment now to do the front bits so I'm going to just bring them together and literally just blow dry this. have the front bits done and I like them like really flicky under my face so that definitely gives that like I can never achieve that with like just curlers or straighteners guys I'm pretty impressed by that um, I'm gonna just leave them to set for a minute um, I'll put some hairspray through it and then brush it out and then to brush them out I just like to use like a wide coop white I literally cannot talk today, wide tooth core and I just brush through to give that kind of like brushed out blow dry look um, but yeah very impressed, very easy, very quick um, but yeah it'll be interesting to see how long it does last for because my hair is thick and things drop out very quickly. My outfit of the day while we're here is a top from my Shein Skims haul. I live in these, they're literally all I wear, they're so soft. And then my like wide leg, kind of like knit trousers are from, I saw it first. I've just had my H&M order arrive and look at these shoes, how gorgeous are they? One of my friends actually posted them on a story and I was like, I need to buy them right now. Um, I actually got a size six, I'm usually a five, but I often find with sandals like this, they're so hard to get your foot in, like that feels so tight that I thought I'm gonna size up and they are still a little bit tight, so I'm glad I did. Um, but I just think they need like worn in. I just thought these in the summer with like floaty trousers, like with anything really, they're just gonna be really easy to wear and they just look a little bit more dressy than like your standard flip flop. Um, I've got these and I've got a new black pair as well that I just feel like are going to be what I live in through the summer and I also picked up, um, how do they go there? I picked up some black Havianas, I actually had these last year but a little boy called Colby Lou got his hands on them and chewed them to bits so I won't be leaving these lying around but these are just like the classic black Havianas again. I live in these on holiday, I live in these in the summer, throw them on all the time, they're really comfortable and just like your classic black flip flop. Good morning, happy Tuesday, I've literally just got to town, 
I've been putting this job off for so long. I need to come and get loads of my trousers tailored because they're so long. I'm just ruining them by dragging them along the floor or I don't wear them because they're too long that they're uncomfortable. So I've came into town. I'm going to go and get that done. I need to get a few little bits and bobs and I've got a shoot tomorrow. So um, I need to prepare for that, but that'll be a whole separate vlog. So don't worry, you're going to see that. Um, but I'm just hoping that the tailors can like get them done in a few days because I go on holiday in a few days. Let's all just say a little prayer. Okay, I'm back. It's actually a few days later. I've had fresh nails. I actually went for Biab, um, which is building a bottle. I don't, actually don't know if you say it like that, Biab. That's just how I say it. Um, and it's so nice. It needs to last me through two holidays. So, Kobe. You don't need a bark actually, thank you very much. Um, it's a lot thicker and it lasts longer and it's good for your nails, so classic French. And I've just had my brows and lashes done at Hidden Beauty. You all know how much I love Rachel at Hidden Beauty. She smashes it every single time. Um, I managed to get my trousers done in time from the tailors, which I've realised was the last thing I vlogged on this vlog. I'm literally vlogging about 50 million things right now, so my head's a bit scrambled bear with me um but i did manage to get my trousers done with a few days turnaround which is brilliant so i need to try them on let's have a little look wow how exciting thankfully my trousers won't drag along the floor all the time now and i actually went to urban outfitters today and got some cargoes do you know what i just want to be a cool girl and like i just don't know if i can pull it off right let me show you my inspo pic I'm going out, this is so chaotic, Dion, just stop and breathe. I'm going out on Sunday for bank holiday and my inspo for my outfit is Stassi Baby. Who's changed her Instagram name to her full Instagram name, like her, no. She's changed her Instagram name to her full real name, which is really difficult to find, Stassi. Not that you're watching this. Um, but this is my outfit inspo. The cargoes, like a little cute crop, sleek hair. Can she pull it off? I'm unsure. But I got these cargoes. They were actually from the men's section and I got them in a size extra small to small. They were £55. And they're just like an oversized cargo. I thought with heels and really nice makeup, they'd be a vibe. Do you know the vision? Let me know what you think because this does feel very out my comfort zone. Um, I think I just need to be brave. What have you got in your mouth? Oh, it's your bone. All right, you're allowed that. I just need to be brave, I think. Um... And just go for it because why not also this gym set is so beautiful let me show you it in the mirror so it's from sofina active which is courtney black's new activewear brand and she smashed it whoa why is, why is the color so funny am i on a weird setting i don't know why that looks really weird coloring um but it's just beautiful the quality is so nice it's so soft i'll show you it unzipped so this is the sports bra, it's got this beautiful like V detail, the bottoms are like a cross which is so flattering on, it's honestly gorgeous, I'm so impressed, I need it in every single colour. I also need to decide which book I want to take on holiday, I'm feeling like taking one of like these, like one of the more thriller style because I always read self help books which are like here, um, and I feel like a bit of a change, I feel like I need a bit of like thriller in my life so... If you've read any of these, let me know, although I'll probably be on holiday by the time this vlog goes live. But let me know which ones are good, because I'll read them when I get back. Right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Sorry that that was so chaotic, but I'm running around like a crazy lady. I've got a million and one things to do, and I don't even know what's been in this vlog. I feel like it's been very disjointed. I've been just vlogging here, there, and everywhere. Um, so I hope you don't mind and love you all so much. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.